In this video, we're gonna be using PAA Alphine and the Gold Dollar W53 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CBB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as I try to mention from time to time, if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing below. And remember, uh, links to the products used today, or at least the ones that are available, will be below the video in the description if you are interested. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're using PAA, that's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Alphine, and this shave was inspired by Nate of uh, BBS Lab because he loves Alphine, and I do too. It is not a scent that everybody loves. It's very, very difficult to describe. Let me go ahead and put the scent profile right there. Somewhat floral, and you know I'm not a big fan of floral general, generally, or at least sweet floral, but this one to me comes out nice. Got some rose, bay, tobacco, geranium. Um, I don't know how to <laughs> describe this scent. It's really, really difficult to, to describe, but it is a good soap. We'll put the ingredients right there for you. And some of the ingredients that I like is cocoa butter, shea butter, cocum. Now this one is a little more expensive uh, because of the scenting oils. Uh, it comes to you for $26.95 for five ounces. And on our price chart there, that is $5.39 an ounce, which is in the pricey realm. I recommend, if you're going to buy the Splash as well, buy the set, because if you buy the set, it's uh, $39.50. And again, I'll link these products below if you are interested. But really nice scent, I can't describe it. <laughs> You'll just have to read the description. It's different from anything I've ever smelled and I do like it. So we're gonna use that today. We're gonna use the PAA Switchback. It's a Switchback 400, I wanna say. Um, and I get asked often, is it easy to change out the uh, the brushes on the Switchback 400? So here I have another one, and yes, it's very easy. All you do is unscrew it, like so. And I have another ferrule with a knot in it. Screw it right on back, back down, and there you go. That's why it's called the Switchback. So you can buy these ferrules and put knots in them. This one is the AP Shapeco Sinbad. This one's Silk Smoke, and you can swap them very easily and quickly. I have about three of these that I've purchased. I really like these switchback, and that's what I'm going to be using today with the AP Shave Co. Two Bed Knot. One more order order of business before we get started today. Um, I've, I've seen a couple videos, um, El Chingon, Marcos, and um, DK uh, talked about someone in a community whose father passed away. Smiles for miles. Now, I don't know Smiles personally. I don't know that I've ever interacted uh, interacted with him. I think he does show up at some of the Real Talk episodes. His father passed away. And normally, I wouldn't announce a fundraiser for someone I don't know or with whom I haven't interacted. But since many other people are, I'm going to mention that fundraiser. I will link it uh, below if you're interested. His father um, passed away. We're centering our thoughts and prayers with with. Uh, Smiles, it's been a very rough year for many people. And if you're interested, I'll have the fundraiser below. I made a contribution. I hope you will as well. And like I said, I normally wouldn't do this for people I don't know. But uh, in this case, since uh, other people do know him, I'm going to put that there. And if you'd like to contribute, I'm sure it would be uh, appreciated. Okay, let's get going. A lot of talking there. we got our standard 24 hours of growth. This is just plain water. No electrics there. That is the Glen Helly Continuous mister. And you'd be surprised how many times I get asked by people, where do you get it? It's in the links below. <laughs> so check the links below. This is the PAA pre-shave cube, which we'll put on there. And then we'll, what I typically do is just get my hand wet. And I know it's not a great thing to do prior to straight razor shaving to get your hand wet, but I've got some towels here to make sure uh, we get our hands dry. I got the timeless towel here, which I often use for this purpose, drying things. We'll dry the hands, we'll apply a little more moisture, then we'll get the lathering. And I apologize, but I just had some business I had to talk about this morning. I did use the um, the chill mill also, which is kind of like a salt or pepper grinder. You grind the menthol crystals up, and I put it in our Captain's Choice bowl, which you see right here. And let's get to lathering because it's been five minutes and I've yet to get any lather on my face. So let's let's get busy with some lathering. PAA, good quality soap. You should not have any quality issues in terms of uh, 
making a lather. It makes a fine lather. It has been around a long time. Time tested um, soap in terms of its longevity. It's not, it didn't just pop up the other day. And this scent, I absolutely cannot describe it, but it's good. I'm just gonna tell you that. And I've added the menthol crystals to get a little more cooling action going. And today we're gonna to use the Gold Dollar W53. And this is with my Codical Edge. It's been a while since I've used um, one of my Codical Edges. And that feels pretty doggone nice. I think I've only used this razor one time. Uh, I try to rotate through them. And that Codical really provides for a nice smooth edge. It, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't, perhaps for some people, feel quite as sharp, but it's nice and smooth. It does a great job. Just be careful up there. And again, we want to remind ourselves to use care when putting the blade to the face. That's probably the most, certainly has been for me, and I think it's one of the more common times when people get a nick or a cut. Just being careless when putting the uh, razor to the face. So we'll try to remain cognizant of that today, but we won't make any promises. All right, very nice. No problem there so far. Again, this is my own edge that I put on this razor. And for that pass, it worked okay. And let's try here with the left hand. It's always a little more challenging with the uh, with the left hand, just because I am right-handed. And so my dexterity with the left hand is not quite as good. So we just try to remain careful. And uh, really that's all you can do. Use your left hand as much as possible to develop uh, dexterity when you can. That's really my, uh, my advice is when you're going to doing things, doesn't matter what it is, or um, anything you're doing, picking up something, lifting, using the remote control, try to use your hand, your non-dominant hand. I said left, but if you're a lefty, of course, right would be your non-dominant hand. So try to use your uh, non-dominant hand more in your daily life to develop dexterity for straight razor shape. We've seen our brother up for a shave day, has taken on uh, straight razor shaving recently, and that is just awesome. We love Dave, and uh, Dave, it's great to watch you, and I'm sure you'll just get better and better as time goes on. So, pop on over to Upfo. Really positive guy, watch him learning in his uh, straight razor journey, embarking on it and learning. It does take some care, you know, relative to uh, DE shaving, and I'll say, when I first started straight razor shaving, once I got that 30 shaves in, I almost had no desire whatsoever to to use DE razors. But now that I've sort of passed that, you know, over 100 mark, I find some enjoyment in my uh, DE <laughs> shaves again. I thought the straight razor shaving had completely killed my love for DE shaving and uh, and single edge razors and so on and so forth because I think at the time I was so motivated in learning something new that the DE shaving at the time just, I had to force myself to use a DE once or twice a week just to work one in, but now I'm finding that I'm back to enjoying my DE shaving and I'm, in, I'm enjoying the straight razor shaving as well. So using all the different things is just a, a source of enjoyment. So today, you know, in this shave, I have to pay more attention and, and focus more because this is a straight razor. Um, tomorrow, I'll pick up a, a DE or SE razor and I won't have to focus as much and it's enjoyable. And this is enjoyable because I have to sort of my mind my P's and Q's, so to speak, and really stay on my game and make sure I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's. And with DE shaving, where I'm much more experienced, I just don't have to pay as much attention. I can just talk and just uh, 
sort of go through it, and that is also enjoyable. So both are enjoyable for, for the opposite <laughs> reasons, which is kind of weird maybe, but that's where I find myself. Um, very nice, the edge on this razor is quite decent. I wouldn't say that's the greatest edge of all time, but it's cutting well, and so we're enjoying it thus far. One of the things that I always have to remember also is move your stretch as you go. And sometimes I forget because for uh, DE shaving, I don't have to do as much stretching, although I do some. For straight razor shaving, I think it's more important. The, the technique factor with straight razor shaving is of critical importance. Um, making sure you're not coming in too hot with the razor, making sure you're not using too much pressure, making sure you're using the part of the blade that does the cutting for the part of your face you're on, which is rarely mentioned, but you're not always using the entire length of the straight razor blade necessarily. There are some areas of your face where you're only using part, especially for the guys that shave the goatee area. So they might be using only the toe or only the heel. And so that's, you know, additional technique that's required that doesn't come into play as much for DE type shaving. This is a nice edge. Again, David Gonzalez and uh, Doug Bear love the codical edges. And honestly, I've been happy with my codical edges as well. Um, I always heard that they were very difficult to learn to hone on. But I find, I find that I enjoyed my codical edges right out of the gate. So <laughs> I don't know. Again, uh, often it's said that they're not, perhaps not quite as sharp, but they make, a, make for a very smooth shave. And I've found that to, to be the case, but still it's very, very enjoyable. And the Alphine here today is very enjoyable. I'm getting that menthol from the, uh, from the chill mill. And I'm just having a really nice, enjoyable shave today. And I hope you are too, wherever you are. That's the most important thing. 2020 has been kind of a rough year. I know for me and for, you know, many, you know, like we mentioned smiles earlier, that's really tough. You know, a lot of people have lost loved ones. Number, I've lost a family member and um, a couple of family members and a number of them are sick as well. And so, you know, it's been a tough year, so the the one thing that's kind of been present in my mind is just try to enjoy each day. Enjoy, you know, what you can, as best you can, because there is no guarantee you're going to be here tomorrow or, or the day after. So let's enjoy today. Let's enjoy our shaves. This is sort of our time to luxuriate, and we should. We should enjoy it. So whatever it is that you're using, straight razor, shavette. D-E-S-E, -E, cart. I don't care what it is. Whatever soap you're using, enjoy it. Inexpensive, expensive, just enjoy it to the fullest and make the most of it. And you'll get your, you know, 20 or 30 minutes of, of zen in each day, or at least it's what I try to do, and I hope you are as well. Just enjoy it because we never know what the future holds. Um, health-wise, job-wise, sometimes relationship-wise. You know, I've known folks who've struggled, struggled through relationship woes this year. New marriages, new divorces, new, you know. You just don't know what lies around the corner. So my advice, enjoy today for what it is. You know, enjoy that you have today. And uh, worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. <laughs> kind of my advice. And by the way, I don't go for 100% um, BBS because the grain on my neck runs this way. And without doing a bunch of J-hooking and inverted passes, I'm just not going to get every little microscopic <laughs> or small whisker. But I'll get it DFS for for sure, which is darn fine shave. 
Man, this soap is, I really love this scent and Nate does too. So Nate, if you are watching, this one's for you, buddy. And Nate has just recently taken on straight razor shaving as well, which is super cool and he's enjoying it. I wish I could uh, catch more of the BBS lives, but they start at a time where I, my wife and I are already in bed. You know, they sort of start during family time. My wife and I are usually uh, at eight o'clock. We go and watch television in the bedroom. And that's sort of, you know, and then we're probably asleep by nine in a lot of cases, but I get up crazy early and she get up, she gets up fairly early as well. So wish I could catch more of BBS, but, uh, I can't, still, I support those guys all the same. Mel and Nate, terrific guys. And uh, this is one of those shaves that I've enjoyed. And Mel, or excuse me, Nate is the one that got me thinking about it because he really likes Alphine. Of course, you know Nate appreciates lower scents. The scent strength on this one, I forgot to say that in the beginning. Um, I would say it's about a four. So this would be probably for Nate a fairly stout scent. <laughs> I'm kidding, Nate. We like to give Nate a hard time. All right, very, very nice shave today with the Codical and Alphine. Let me rinse, we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is just Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber without alcohol, very nice stuff. And I must say, today I used the uh, alum in the dry dock, um, no stinging whatsoever. So the edge on the WF-53, the Codical edge, very, very nice, my own edge. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of that because that was an excellent shave, no stinging. We used, of course, the Alphine shaving soap, very nice. One of uh, Nate's favorites. I really liked it. We used the chill mill, of course. We used the Captain's Choice Bowl and the AP Shave Co. Um, not this one is too bad on the Switchback 400 handle from PAA. And we shall finish things off today with, of course, Alphine. Again, if you're interested in this set and you think this set is appealing, buy the combo. I'll have uh, links below for the individual products and the combo, but buy the combo as it's cheaper. And as we always do with PAA aftershaves, put our finger over the top and just let a little bit out, like so. Use your, using your finger as a restrictor. Oh, man. Very, very nice. And we're going to have a great day. And I hope you will as well. Again, I want to mention one final time, the fundraiser for Smiles for Miles will be below. We send our thoughts and prayers with smiles. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, and I'm hoping that you will have a great shave. Remember, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.